What is going on guys, back with another video. Uh, today, we're gonna be pulling the motor out of the uh, Sephiro, getting it ready to go on the Silvia. I've got 25 depth Sephiro in the garage here. Pulled it in, pushed the S14 outside, got the engine crane there. Rearranged the whole garage, so get the Sylvia's gonna be sitting in here, or whatever car we're working on. Finally got my workbench and shit now, so should make it a lot easier to work on shit here. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna be pulling the motor gearbox out of this, pretty much just getting it ready to chuck in the Sylvia. Right, so yeah, we're going to be pulling this motor out. Already got the radiator out, alternators off. All we've pretty much got to do is just take all the loom off, cap all the fuel lines, get them off, undo the motor mounts, undo the gearbox cross member, undo the drive shaft, uh, take all the shift the boot and shift it out of the gearbox and things should be uh, pretty much ready to come out. I've pulled two RBs out of cars before. I uh, pulled a 20E out of the uh, 20 that's Sephiro and the 20 that it was in there, I pulled that out of another Sephiro. So have a fair idea of what I'm doing, but pretty much just gonna wing it. Uh, see how it goes. These things aren't too hard to pull out. I've got my mate James and my mate Mace on the way. So got a, got a hand doing this, so should be good. Right, so first thing I'm gonna do is gonna take the center core piping off, take the air filter off, and pretty much just unstart plugging the loom. Alright, so just went to pull the shifter out, and one of the cunty things to do on these with uh, that don't have a short shift is get these circlips out. When I pulled the cover off, it was literally just sitting on top, so uh, a bit more IRB for you. So it just pop straight out, it's just done. So a bit more IRB. <laughs> Didn't even need to have a spanner to pull that off, just pulled straight off. Fuck, whoever put this together. Dumbass. Right, so we're a couple of hours in. Uh, it's taken a bit longer than I was hoping, but nah, it's all good. Pretty much got all the loom and shit out. All the plugs and everything have uh, come over here. All the intercooler piping and shit's off. Um, all we've got to do is do the drive shaft, pop the uh, cross member off, and then engine mounts on the sink should come out. We've also got to empty the oil out of the gearbox, but apart from that, it's almost ready to come out. Yeah, fuck the She's a So, I had a thought that this bung would be super tight and uh, we have trouble cracking it open, but the thing was heaping tight, so pretty much done. First looks, this oil doesn't look too bad. It actually looks fairly new. Yeah, got a bit of colour to it. Looks like red almost. So there's um a little bit of a little bit of metal on the bung, but I mean nothing more than uh, nothing more than usual. I mean I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but you can see these little uh, pretty bits here. It's just little bits of metal that are gotten stuck to the bung because it's uh, magnetic. But honestly, this gearbox is mint. Had a had a thrash in a couple of times. Uh, it was thrashed a couple of times, and there was no crunches or anything like the uh, like the twenty deck gearbox does. So I think the plans are going to be to take this gearbox and chuck it in that car, the twenty deck one, and I'm going to look at getting a probably a three fifty Z gearbox to chuck behind the twenty five deck um, when it gets ready to go into the car. Just because the twenty deck gearboxes aren't going to handle 350, 400 horsepower, they'll. Uh, Fuck out real quick. Well, while they're playing with Warren, I'm gonna start taking out this drive shaft. So I'm gonna hunt for a couple of 14s. Shit's everywhere. I'm doing drive shaft bolts. Always boring. Time consuming. So just going to do these cross mount bolts, and what do you know? They're loose as, just like just about everything else on this fucking car. Right, so we've uh, pretty much done everything. Got the motor pretty much ready to come out. Um, Drive shaft has been pulled out. 
Uh, the gearbox cross member has been undone, speeder drives taken out, uh, clutch slave cylinders off, uh, all the loom is all taken off, it's all been pulled back. Motor mounts have been undone, this one's been done from the top and that one's been done from underneath, one up, one over. All the fuel lines have been taken off, zip tied up there, cable line is all off, it's pretty much ready to be pulled out now. There's fucking twigs and shit in that. What Looks the like hell? there's leaves and crap inside there. There's leaves and sticks inside the fucking water system in this motor. Someone must have filled it up out of the gutter. <sighs> and look how brown it is. That is fucking terrible. something goes in there, like a stone, yeah, it's gonna get chewed up. Fuck the flywheel. It will blow a hole in your bell housing. Have a look. <laughs> That's how you do it. Oh! Okay, it's got a bell housing bolt that's hanging out, and a bell housing bolt that's missing. Yeah, none of the none of the drift guys run them because if they need to take a gearbox out quickly, then it's a lot easier to get to get it out if those two aren't done up. This one's loose. This one's non-existent. That one there's non-existent. That one there isn't there. There's also a starter starter motor bolt missing as well. So there's only one bolt holding the starter motor in. RFB next level, that one. This is definitely RFB. Also, something that my uncle noticed before was on the top hat on the shock here, you can see it's cracked just through there on both sides as well. And then on the other side, you got the same thing, just not quite as bad, but it's definitely on its way to to crack him. Also, you see, that's how the bolt's supposed to look like. But on the one over here, you've got bugger all of it actually, thread actually on the nut. So these front adjusties are pretty much junk. So yeah, as you can see, the motor is out of the Sephira. So now I've got my other Sephira sitting down the, uh, so now I've got my other Sephira sitting down the side of the garage. We're going to move that and uh, roll this thing down the back and park the uh, 20 the good one, in front of it. And then chuck the Sylvia back in the garage. So, uh, it's pretty late at night. Um, we got this done probably over a period of like two and a half hours. Um, me and my mate started working on it late afternoon and they had to gap. So after that, I just waited around for a little bit. Um, my uncle came over and uh, help me with the rest of the motor pull out. Um, it's just easy with two people because you can have one person pumping the uh, engine hoist while you've got someone making sure that uh, it's not catching on anything or anything like that. So the plans for this is going to be front facing plenum, some thousand cc injectors, um, and then on the hot side, 
we're gonna run a Senko manifold and I'm not entirely sure what tool I'm gonna run it. Probably gonna look at running a whole set or something like that. Here's some of the RFB that's going on here. So you can see, you can see right here, there's a stud that's been snapped off in the box. So that's gonna be a pain in the ass to have to get out. Uh, there's no nut on that stud there. And then in the back here, we, uh, we've also got a stud that's snapped off in the motor. This is a uh, 20 DE box. Uh, you can tell because there's like not much fitting on the bell housing here. The difference between the 20 DE and the 20 DE box internally, they're like the same, same with the 30 E box. The only difference is the uh, DE boxes, and I'm pretty sure the 30 E boxes as well, have uh, fins on the bell housing for calling. But yeah, like I said, internally they're pretty much the same. Right, so that'll be it for this video. Cheers for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and uh, yeah, look forward to the next one. Um, the build for the Sylvia is hopefully going to be underway a lot more now. Um, I've got some few other things in the works that I'm uh, trying to sort out and plan, but potentially I've got another build uh, that I'm hopefully going to bring to the channel, uh, which involves another streetcar. So uh, yeah, stay tuned and see what happens.